It's been a good day, yes? Yes, yes. Feel movement in this day? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, the last few days, I've been waking up in the middle of the night with, um, like, a great panic, and almost like I'm talking to non-physical or someone in non-physical, and, and it's saying, come here where there's freedom. And um, I have even one night popped out of bed to my feet and was like, I don't want to die, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. Oh, yeah. Alignment often is that experience, but you don't have to croak for alignment. <laughs> well, that's the thing. And so I started actually seeing, and that was my intention to start seeing triple digits, which I think was something that Jerry would... All, uh, all alignment is fun, isn't it? Three, 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 four, four, four. Yeah, and five, then five, I started seven. getting even more like I went to the grocery store and it was six, six, seven. I was like, oh, I didn't get to six, six, six. And then they gave me the change. And it was 1333. <laughs> like, spirit was just playing reverse. Like, so, and then I just started thinking about Jerry. And I just, I was talking to my brother about it. And I was, said, he just felt so comfortable or settled in his ability to allow, to yeah. allow. Esther yeah. to allow money to yeah. is something that I've always wanted a woman and money and to and to allow his perfect alignment and to allow his experience that now catapults more into an understanding of what alignment really is in other words in alignment with it yeah and so two nights ago I felt that he act, there was actually Jerry that came and it said you know I was this acrobat flying and releasing and just so free and so curious and that's like, that was what I was aspiring to. But then he was saying, I'm even more free now. Yeah. Clear pipes. But it, broader view. It made me say, I don't want to die, which is obviously. Well, what's happening is your desire for alignment is really palpable. Your belief that you found it not quite in place so you're in that place of wanting something that you're not sustaining all the time and that's not unusual it's what everyone is striving for so the thing that's most interesting this is going to be very helpful to you so when you awaken you begin usually you, be, you begin every time picking up where you left off vibrationally so as you slumber and you leave behind all resistance and you move into that free-flowing vibration that's when you have access you were actually having that experience of alignment and then when you came back into your wake state it was the juxtaposition of that free-flowing and that not free-flowing that you felt so vividly We've been saying for a while, we said it just now, that this reaching for and finding this vibrational frequency, when you make your transition into non-physical, is just the natural thing that you do. Because you leave behind your ability to hold to those lower vibrations. And so there is such a sensation of elation and freedom that happens in that moment. Everything that we've been talking about here today is about you finding that vibrational frequency and practicing it until you own it and until it is easy for you to maintain mm -hmm. so that you have the benefit of all of that knowing while you are still here in this physical body so we really want to say and this is what you're picking up on and we have not said it clearly like this before you're evoking it from the juxtaposition of what's been going on with you we really want to say that it does not matter whether you re-emerge into non-physical to find it or whether you find it because you focus here it doesn't make any difference finding it is what really matters but you get to decide you're the one that gets to decide you get to say I am wanting to remain here in this physical body and to find this frequency and practice it until I own it because I have so much that I want to reflect that energy into here in this time space reality Jerry was no longer saying that Jerry was saying I have had all of this experience and now I'm interested in what's coming next and I'm interested in what my relationship with Esther and others will mean relative to all of that you see you get to define that 
one of the first things that Esther remembers hearing us say is that in the subject of there being no predestination that you weren't all decided about everything that would be when you came into this physical body you knew that you would be picking up ideas and you would be identifying who you are and creating your own reality as you are moving along otherwise what would be the point of coming forth if you were already completed before you came into this physical body why would you come you came because you knew the contrast would cause you and all of us to expand still further you see and so when we said in those early days to lots of questions that were coming up about is my life been predetermined has it already been decided has my moment of death already been decided as the method through which I will have that experience been decided and we say none of that has been decided you are the creator of your reality and you are here in this physical body making those decisions but now we are saying to you with more enthusiasm because you're in a place that you're hearing it now and you weren't any of you hearing it then when you understand the existence of your non-physical counterparts when you understand the Jerry's and the Abraham's of this non-physical realm and as you understand your relationship with them and as you do something about your vibrational proximity to that high-flying vibration now you have the benefit here in this physical body of all of that right here and now humans often think that non-physical is there and it's perfect in whatever it is and that if you live life well that you'll get to go there and live that perfect life and we say you make this stuff up it's really interesting how you come to it but we want you to demonstrate for yourself how easy it is to find an emotion and fixate on it and make it your own and practice it it might take you a week or two or three or 30 days but once you once you've achieved it and once you are predominantly in that high-flying place you will consciously begin to recognize the interweaving of the non-physical into your now moments just like you did in that dream state and just like you did when you awaken you begin to recognize that we're all in this togetherness of all of that and then you begin to understand that this is where it it's happening in other words you're not here banging around and then you're gonna go someplace else where it's happening this is where it's happening and all of that is happening here with you the question is are you in the vibrational vicinity that you can receive or realize that alignment and so oh nothing is more delicious we want the non-physical part of you and the physical part of you to converge all the time and we want the non-physical part of Jerry to converge with you all the time we want Abraham to converge with you all the time we want you to feel constantly the wisdom and the clarity and the worthiness that is you we want moment by moment we want that connection to be in place and we understand and accept and aren't even bothered by the fact that it often won't be in place we don't mind it that you pinch yourself off occasionally if you didn't know what pinching yourself off from it felt like you would wouldn't know what the allowing it and resonance with it would be in other words all of that is all part of it we just want you once and for all to accept that you are pure positive energy beings and that you are here in these bodies with great reason and that you got a whole lot of non-physical backup that you haven't been utilizing because you've been hanging around on discs where that non-physical energy isn't so you've made your world banging around with other physical beings who are on different discs and and you're measuring and making all your rules and laws about the appropriateness and inappropriateness of life experience as you bang around on these low flying discs and as you begin to reach for and sustain that high flying disc and your world everything in your world elevates to that then you'll begin to understand that you can have it all right here and now and that was the plan all along three steps to the creative process step one says ask you can't help doing that contrast is helping you do that all day long step two is source becomes the vibrational equivalent of and gives you the constant feedback so that you can be the realizer the liver of all that you're asking for and so as you are now understanding that your work is that is the work that is the work to come into alignment with that to allow all that you've been asking for to come into being to allow the realization the manifestation the actualization the materialization the demonstration of your alignment that's what we're all about you see creators in what we know to be the best creative environment that um, ever has been out here on the leading edge so They're, when 
I first like got into this thinking, like really embodying it. It was 10, 15 years ago. And I was so much innocent about it, I could just go there because I just was just engrossed by it. So it was like, oh, I want to go play in that. And I was hitting these highs. But now it's like I really feel like I'm up against like these really deep societal check marks. But you see, this is the thing. You're not up against anything that you haven't been laying pipes about. And as you cease doing that, as you're no longer measuring yourself or comparing anyone, that just will become an irrelevant past. Not irrelevant completely because it has caused you to ask. Sure. It, is, it has caused you to way. put things into your vortex. But what's in your vortex is now what's relevant. And the path to what's in your vortex is what you're reaching for. And so all this time, what we've been talking about is you've created this vibrational version that now you're wanting to create some vibrational paths to so that you can be the realizer of it, you see. And we just I, keep I finding it. Yeah, other... it's, it's when you said measure... If you're saying here's the high flying disc, me judging myself, if you will, then puts the, the well, stopper. We into know. And being aware of positive and negative emotion is a judgment. And reaching for positive emotion rather than settling for negative emotion does require focus and therefore effort. We're just wanting you to take your human tendencies and to apply them just for a little while to a vibrational understanding of yourself. So the efforting that you're making, let it be about feeling good. And the judging that you're offering, let it be about how you feel. And if you'll just focus that way for just a little while, it is our promise to you that you'll come into resonance, such full resonance with who you really are and such full resonance with all that you've been asking for that it's like, the bondage will lift up off of you mm. and the feeling of freedom will be palpable, visceral, indescribable. And the, the light that radiates from you will be noticeable by others who are in the vicinity. And law of attractions response to you will be so much more vivid because in your consistency, you won't be attracting so much clutter around you. So it just gets clearer and clearer and easier and easier until you will begin to describe yourself as on your path. You'll begin to describe yourself as doing what you came to do. And those who question it or doubt it, who don't understand it, won't even be in your vicinity. You'll be co-creating with others who understand it too. And the ride is so fun. To collaborate with those on the high flying disc is the most satisfying collaboration that happens. And to collaborate with those on lower flying discs is miserable by comparison <laughs> and it's time for you Esther and Jerry teased all the time that the disclaimer that you sign that lets you know that this is being recorded and and if you sit in the hot seat you might end up on a recording uh, they've been thinking for a while that maybe they should put an, oh by the way you can't go back <laughs> once you hear and resonate with the true vibrational nature of your being you will be intolerant of lower frequencies. Mm -hmm. You just get so you can't stand it. You're just not willing to watch that program. It makes you feel like crap. And you're not willing to play with that person because they always bring you down. And you're not willing to drive down that road because it's bumpier than it needs to be. <laughs> you're no longer proving yourself by how much yuck you can withstand. You're now validating yourself by the true nature of who you are. And all that is, is yielding to you evidence of whatever disc you're on, you see.